everyone is clamoring for a fight between you and Errol. They think you two are the best that there is. Um, what do you want? What do you say, Terrence? Man, I've been saying it for, 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 I don't know, what, a year and a half since I've been at 147. You know, it's crazy how everybody say, oh, well, he don't even have a title yet. And now that I got a title, now it's another excuse. So it seems like it's excuses after excuses after excuses. Now he's not worried about me. Uh, I honestly believe, you know, when it comes down to him, and deep down in his heart, he know, he know what he's up against when he goes against me. He want to fight this guy and fight this guy. So he's going to be the A side, you know. Uh, he don't want a 50-50 fight. Well, that, that just t- lets you know right now he's not 100% confident in his own abilities. You know, he can say what he want. The, the, the casual fans can say what they want. But me, you know, if I'm confident in my abilities, I'm like, okay, we can we can do it. You know, it don't matter if it's 50-50 or not. I know I'm going to win, so I don't have nothing to lose. If Errol Spence is sitting at home in the gym, anywhere, he, wherever he happens to be right now, what is your message to Errol Spence? Man, I just tell him, you know, uh, take off them panties and pull his pants up and sign a contract. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! The fire's coming. Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talking nothing but this boxing man. What's good, fam? Hey, listen, man, first off, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. And if you're new here, I want you to be here. So think about hitting that subscribe button as we stay knee deep into this boxing conversation, man. Terrence Buck Crawford, pound for pound king, WBO welterweight champion. He did an interview with uh, TMZ, man. Um, and they was asking him about the Earl Spence fight. Um, and, you know, Terrence was was quite candid, man, you know, and saying that he wants to fight. Um, he pointed out that how uh, all of a sudden when, at, when Earl Spence is asked about him, he's not worried about him. You know, um, Earl is, is, is focused on, you know, being the A-side and, 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 and getting getting the money and getting the, the more... The, the, the biggest chunk of the money and things like that. But Crawford says, you know, he don't worry about the money. He's not worried about the money because he knows he's going to win. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I like this energy from Bud Crawford, man. Um, I like Earl Spence. I like Terrence Crawford. I am a fan of both welterweights. You know what I mean? I think this fight... Would you know is a, is a pick and fight, man? I think it will be very, very highly um, contested, man. Both guys would bring so much um, to the table. Um, I do have Terence Crawford as number one pound for pound in the world, uh, and I got Earl Spence, the the number one welterweight in the world. So when those two meet in in the square circle, um, you know, I just I can't really pick a winner at this time, man. But, you know, one thing I got to acknowledge is that, you know, when when Earl Spence is asked about Terrence Crawford, there's nothing definite about his answer. You know, um, he, uh, he says things like, you know, that fight's going to happen. Uh, you know, they start talking about pay-per-view numbers. Even his trainer, Derek James, is starting, starting to, 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 to run with the... Uh, you know, Terrence Crawford's bad, you know, pay-per-view numbers and, and things like that, man. And, you know, there's a lot of Terrence Crawford bashing going on on social media, man, specifically this YouTube, man, by a lot of YouTube content creators who are pro Earl Spence, man. Um, you know, they, they are screaming, Terrence Crawford needs to step up and fight somebody. Um, you know, he has no one to fight, uh, you know, which is true, you know, there is not elite heavy, elite welterweights over there at top rank, you know, that is, that is a correct statement, you know what I mean, um, but from where I'm sitting at, man, Terrence Crawford is being real vocal 
about his intentions. You know, he wants to fight Earl Spence, you know. Uh, he told Earl Spence to pull your panties down, pull up your pants, and let's sign these contracts. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford wants this fight. He said that he's not worried about the money, so because he knows he's gonna win. So money shouldn't be the issue, you know. Let's make this fight. Let's make this fight. You know, um, I'm dying to see it. Everybody wants to see it. It's the fight that everybody's talking about. Um, it's rumored that Crawford is is will fight uh, the Mean Machine, um, Cavalascus, December 14th. But nothing has been officially announced. Um, Earl Spence is rumored to face Danny Garcia uh, the first quarter of 2020, but 20, but nothing has been officially announced. You know what I mean? Um, this fight can happen, people. You know, this fight can happen. Um, and it seems to me that the ball is in Earl Spencer's court, you know. It's in Earl Spencer's court, man. Earl Spencer's the one who has the options, you know. He has, PBC has a, a slew of welterweights for Earl Spence to face, you know. So, you know, he's he's sitting in the, in the driver's seat. He's sitting pretty, you know. Um, he can pick and choose who he decides to fight, you know. Uh, Will he choose the path that the majority of the fight fans want, that everybody wants to see, which is him fight Terrence Crawford, you know? Will he choose that? If he cho if, if, if Earl Spence really wanted to fight Terrence Crawford, this fight would happen, you know? Um, Terrence has made it clear, you know? Uh, he stated that now, you know, everybody told him to get a belt, you know, he get a belt and, and they'll fight him. You know, uh, he said it's been, what, a year and a half since he's been at 147, and he has not, he has not been in a unification matchup. You know, these guys, uh, he said these guys know what they're up against. He said Earl Spence knows that, you know, he's a threat. You know what I mean? Uh, I just hope this fight get made, man. Um, shout out to TMZ. For, for getting this interview, man. Um, people need to stop stop the Terrence Crawford bashing, man. You know, uh, yeah, he don't talk to a lot of media. You know what I'm saying? Um, some guys is, is built like that. You know, this ain't for everybody. You know, some some guys just like to go in there and fight. You know, people criticize him for going on uh, Joe Rogan, uh, criticize him for doing the. Uh, What's the MMA guy who got who got a podcast? Uh, Brandon Shams. We're going on his show. You know, um, they try to use that as an angle, saying that you know he doesn't do interviews with black media, and why is he going on 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 this show and that show? Um, you know, which is a bunch of nonsense, man. He's going on these shows, man, because of the the, the these people have millions. And millions of of uh, they they reach millions and millions of people. This is why he's going on their show. You know, they reaching millions and millions of people. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to go and talk to guys who who bash me um, day after day and just think they're going to bully me in to doing an interview. You know what I mean? It just don't add up, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have empathy and put yourself in the other person's shoes, man. You know, how would you feel? Would you want to go do an interview with, with a guy who's been bashing you and bashing you for the last year? You know, uh, all of a sudden, I'm going to come do an interview. You're going to bully me in to doing an interview with you to talk to you? Come on, man. It's, it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. You know, I got a lot of respect for Earl Spence. I got a lot of respect for Terrence Crawford. Um, it's just that, you know, some of these fans, man, some of these fans just make you, you know, make you dislike, dislike the situation. You know what I mean? But listen, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. You can go on TMZ Sports and check the interview out in its entirety. Um, but if you want to find me, you can find me at right here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Or you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram at Big Faces Worldwide, all one word. But in the meantime and in between time, stay blessed and keep on supporting the sport that we love called boxing.
Peace. I'll holler back.